Isaac um, from South Brown. Yeah, yeah, Isaac. Um, I think I hear what you're saying. I heard earlier that you're trying to walk a fine line and that there's realities of a four-month legislature. There's realities of the legislatures that are opposed to getting anything done at all. I, I hear that you're allies, and I totally get that you are li probably reading IPCC and are very concerned about what they're saying. In the fall of 2018, they said that we need rapid and unprecedented changes in all aspects of society. And since that has come out, we have learned that the ice sheets are melting faster than we thought, that methane, it, that, that the permafrost is melting like 70 years ahead of schedule. And so I understand that you're trying to work within the confines of the existing system and trying to find avenues to make changes in order to sort of like, okay, well, we've got this law and we've got to tweak it in order to do this. But realistically speaking, we have to upend society. And so I'm not super interested in building a movement to pass piecemeal laws that actually aren't addressing the situation at hand. They're the best that we can do in the context of the existing system, in the context of the legislature, but it's meaningless in the face of what we're actually facing. We need to have a reckoning with what is actually going on, okay? Our systems, the systems on which we rely for our lives and the future generations' lives are collapsing. And so I get it. I totally understand that you're allies and that you're fighting like hell and you've done 15 tours and you're going around the state and you're gathering people like this is super meaningful. But we have to have our eye on what we actually have to get done. Thank you, Isabella. Appreciate that. I just want to, Isaac? I, I don't have a great answer, right? Um, but one of the things that is coming really clear and and is the anxiety that that particular young people have on this topic, and it's a, it's a pretty reasonable reaction, if you ask me. Um, I was I was talking to a, a friend today about exactly this, as this sentiment has been expressed a lot at these forums. Um, the New Deal was a series of independent, sort of unexciting bills that over a decade collectively transformed society. And I worry that we don't have a decade. But I also think there's a model there. And part of what we're talking about tonight, whether it's the 12 states working together or the accountability structure that we're trying to inject into Vermont, I see those as a foundation that's not nearly enough, but it's a foundation that we can build from. And I will just say, the legislature is an entirely human thing. It is run by humans, we're deeply flawed, we're highly insecure, we've got all the neurosis that, you're, that the, in that way it's a perfect reflection of our citizenry. And part of what we need to do is to prove to ourselves, to prove to our colleagues, this insurmountable challenge. We can make inroads, and voters will have our back, and voters will keep pushing us, so that next year when we do this, we won't fit in this room. And next year when we do it in Bristol, they'll, we'll have to meet in the parking lot. That is what it's gonna take. And, and the legislature, you know, we, we are trying to lead and, and we also, it is just the way the system is structured that we are never going to be able to be way out in front. And people will tell you, and watch out for this, people will say, well, look at what we've done. We passed civil unions, and we passed GMO labeling, and we passed gay marriage, and we're courageous. And we are those things, and those things were all free. And never underestimate how much harder it is to mess with the economy and to cost people dollars. That's when the courage is extremely necessary. So we need you, we need you. We're not here to placate you and say, we're, we're good, don't worry, we got it. We need you badly and our colleagues around the state need you. And, and I think all of us who are 40 and over, when we're engaging with young people on this stuff, I, I, I just started to really spend some time on the anxiety because I feel it. I've tamped it down for a long time, 
And, and you know, on the climate march, and I'll shut up in a minute, but my kids go to Edmonds. And <laughs> I was with thousands of kids coming down UVM, and I'm looking over at the park, at the playground in Edmonds, and I'm trying, and the kids are out there. I'm trying to spy my kid. And the little one was in the playground, and the third grader was against the sidewalk. And, and she's just seen us all, and you know, try to keep her up to date and also let her be a third grader, right? So we, 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 don't, we don't discuss the IPCC uh, data as much <laughs> at dinner, but she's, she, you know, we're a politically active family. And I don't know what she's thinking, but she, she spotted me, and I, I, was, I was kind of amazed. And she's just waving at me and sitting along the sidewalk there, and the teachers were kind of holding them back, making sure they could keep their eye on their students and letting them be part of it. And, and for some reason, I just hold that image all the time. And we, you know, I owe it to her, we owe it to you guys, and we have failed. We have completely failed. People, knowledgeable people have been screaming about this for a long time. And we have failed so far to answer that. And it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard for those of us who are interested in, in doing it. So I, I just, you know, that's, I don't know what to say other than thank you and keep it up. Well, and I have, if I could say one more thing, I mean, you're hearing about these bills that we've worked on with our whole 80 person caucus that we think we have consensus on, but those aren't the only bills that have been introduced on climate in the legislature. Brian has a bill to transition the state's economy to a zero waste economy. Mary I has a bill fossil to ban fossil <laughs> fuel infrastructure. I have one of many bills to put a price on carbon. Um, and use that money to help us with the transition. So you, like, get behind those bills, too, with the mass movement that you want to build and make it impossible for us not to start to act on those bigger, bolder bills. Like, yeah, build that movement because the pressure that you put on those bills will help us pass all of the things we just talked about, and it will help us build to those bolder things that a lot of us really, really recognize that we need to do. So and, and practically, don't think this is like it that we're putting out there for you to get behind, too, I, I think is what I'm trying to say. Marching and meeting and are all wonder, um, we need to do all of that. But on a practical level, as Senator Pearson said, these we're talking about bills and we're asking the state to pay for money. The minute money <coughs> hits the 180 people in the legislature, mines close, people start getting really panicky. The way we get around that is a very concerted email, telephone, letter campaign. We need to target every, it's only 180 people, but if we build the kind of movement that has a rapid response, when, if I'm Ron Bryan and our co-sponsoring co is zero waste, when that comes up in committee, we've got to, we, we've got to figure out a communication strategy so that the committee that's hearing it hears from their constituents, oh, it's on the agenda, this is important, I'm interested in this. That gets their attention. When we're talking about money, matters, <coughs> we have got to target the people who are, are, are no votes, and we've got to inundate them with letters and emails. This, um, this it, it, it will make a difference, and people vote and you make sure they know that. So it's, so it's, it's, it's large groups, large discussions, but we've got to find a way of getting some rapid communication strategies so that every time something comes up on the floor, we know that they've been flooded. Because it makes, and, and believe me, there are a whole bunch of interest groups that do this really well. Oh, okay, so back to Congress, Spencer, you've had your hand on. 